Well, I'm out here today at a uh, soccer field. So I figure I'll check this out for a little bit. I got a couple places I want to hit today. I'm going to hit a park or two after this, but I figure I'm going uh, to make my way. This is where the goals go. Look at that like an alien shit going on over here. All, all the grass. Nasty and dead. One strip, nice and green. One like that about a week, um, I was here maybe two weeks ago. And I wasn't like that. So I'm going to make my way over here. I'm going to do right up the sideline. Well, how's that for a crazy nickel? Bring up a solid nickel signal. Huh. Pretty sure it's a nickel anyway. I'm kind of see everything barely. It's only a couple inches down. Figured out what that is. They got a cross country meet going on today, and people are actually coming in over there and uh, running down the center and out that little gate or opening in the fence over there about five inches down I get something green can't tell what it is in my life it's going to be a memorial of some sort yeah, I'm not going to tell what that is. I'm going to clean that up. Mm -hmm. Nope, no luck. Oh, oh wait. I do have some luck. Uh, give me a minute, I'll clean it up a little bit. Well, I was not expecting that here. That's an Indian. And right along the sideline, about five inches down. Huh. You may know this is an old park, but I didn't expect an Indian here. I just found an ounce of lead. Uh, kind of neat, but not what I wanted. I'm about halfway down the field, and I'm going to climb on the other side of the uh, sideline and work my way back on the inside of the field, and then go hit another park. It's kind of neat old button type of thing. I don't know what it is actually. First thing I thought was cufflink, but it's not. It's pretty neat though. It's down, I don't know, five inches, four inches. And then on my way back. Well, I moved to another park spend some time over here and uh, this is an old one this is mid 1800s late 1800s so just got a nice little surface find don't know what it is really crap yeah it's a crap earring but it's jewelry first jewelry of the day so hopefully uh get something out of here Well, about six inches down, just got another beat up old Indian. That's in rough shape. But it's definitely an Indian. Let's see what else we can get. Well, it looks like I found me a good spot. Got another nice old coin. Came up the same signal as the Indian. Yep, another Indian. Let's see if I can get a date off of it. Nope, 
working it yet, but I'll clean it up and see what it is. Well, it looks like a 190 something. 1904, I believe. But, hmm. Keep you updated. Well, I rescanned that hole that had the Indian in it, but I couldn't identify a date. And down, oh boy, looks like about 14, 13, 14 inches. I got myself. The 1903 V nickel. Can't really make out the date, but you can kind of see the V. And anything. So, not too bad. That's absolutely the deepest coin I've ever dug. Right next to this tree, got myself a 1940 wheat penny. Let's see the date? Eh, probably not. About six, seven inches down. Nice soft stuff around the tree. So I think I'm gonna hit the base of these trees and probably go home have lunch or something. I'll keep you updated. Well, I just got a nice high tone. Said it was about four inches. It's more about five or six, but I don't know what it is yet. Bet it's another Indian. No, it's a freaking Canadian. 1940 Canada. Oh, I hate Canadian coins. Oh well.